Hey, everybody. Welcome to Glory Bible Study. It's your friends and your family in the glory, Joshua and Janet Mills. Welcome once again. This is an exciting week. We are in the midst mm -hmm. of the 10 days of awe. Right. We have entered into a new year and there yes. is a door standing wide open for us to enter in and receive something new. This is the year of the open door to more. Amen. And um, there's so many different prophetic words that are going around um, that different prophets have received over this year. And the common thread is that God is speaking about this being the open door. And so God is doing something really special. We started last week sharing with you about the more of God. And we kind of went into that and explored some of those things oh, we really we really went into it we did and it was <laughs> we stepped remember it was on miracle in. bible study was awesome <laughs> and if you didn't see that you need to go back and watch that but we're going to talk a little bit more about 5784 today and share with you some of the things that the lord has given to us prophetically and so you don't want to miss this you want to actually get out a, a pad and paper and take some notes and write down some of the things that god is speaking because as we head into this new year, God has wanted to direct our steps and mm -hmm. he's wanting us to um, enter into this year with a heart that's open to follow him willingly and allow him to make the necessary changes that are required in this next season. And there's a lot of that that we're going to be talking about. It's so good to see so many of you tuning Amen. in from all over the place. I see uh, Maddie from Massachusetts and Ray from Illinois and uh, Veronica from Philippines and Mary from Arkansas, and we have Samir from Tokyo, Japan. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. And I'm noticing some of you all are coming on and saying that you were part of the webinar this afternoon. Thank you for being a part of that free webinar that we did. I had such a wonderful time teaching that. And I was sharing about glory breakthrough and Powerful. some keys the Lord has given us, Jenna, in our life and ministry for living in that breakthrough continually. Um, and then also this morning we were teaching at Kingsway College and wow, we had an amazing time this morning, didn't we? We did. It started out with praise. I led time. praise and worship this morning and we just kind of sang. Actually, we started with the song, No Limitations. A lot of people like that song. Um, I wrote that years so much ago. So freedom in that song. But we started with that song, No Limitations, and then we just kind of went prophetic, and we just went into the heavens, and it was wonderful. So beautiful. It was really, really wonderful. And the whole, the whole school this year is just so excited and hungry and um, it's such been wonderful off to a real powerful classes. Start. Yes. Yeah, it's really been powerful, very powerful, really hungry bunch of students that are pulling um, on the glory and just putting a demand. I mean, I think people yes. are just, they're tired of complacency. They want the more it's they're, true. they're pulling on it and they're putting a demand on what God has said that they have, who God has said that they are, and they are, they're walking in it. That's so true. In the name of Jesus. So true. And, um, you know, we we're teaching the third years about miracle ministry. And today we did something real special. Um, we have a chair that was in brother Jack Coe's tent for many years, sat under the revival tent of Jack Coe. And then it was purchased by A. Allen and it sat under his tent mm -hmm. for many, many years. And then it sat under Don Stewart's tent for many years. And then it sat in storage for about 20 years. And, um, it was given to us as a gift. And I can't help but think that 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 chair was in all those atmospheres, all those glory encounters and all under those miracle moments. Oh man, all those miracle moments. And we, we had been talking about them last week. So many of those great miracles that happened in the healing revival of the forties uh, and fifties. And anyway, we put a demand just like acts 19, 11 and 12, where, uh, handkerchiefs aprons were taken as a point of contact yes we put a demand on that point of contact from those revival meetings and we had a time of impartation this morning that was just it was so beyond we had we so had special. never in and we've had that chair for a long while and we have never done 
anything like that. No, with we've it. never taken taken it out to do in out a of our home setting. Yeah. So it was really, really special. It was really and I special. An unlimited amount of fruit was unleashed today. Yes, I believe the world is impacted by what took place today. Yes, absolutely. I have faith for that. Absolutely. Praise God. Hallelujah. I see one of the students on here, Jane. Jane, I'm telling you, it, <laughs> it was, was a God, God idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Angela, it yes. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Some of these hungry ones are on here tonight. Love oh, you guys. Wow. God is so good. So we just had glory after glory after glory all day long. It has been wonderful. And Absolutely you know what? Wonderful. This glory is available for you all mm -hmm. day long, every day. Yes. Are you hungry for him? We are. Are you hungry for the more? I know you are because you're here with us on yes. a Tuesday night, glory Bible study. Some of you Wednesday morning, all the way in Tokyo, Japan, you're hungry for the glory. And so Lord, mm -hmm. I thank you for a fresh impartation even right now of your miracle glory <laughs> realm. I thank you for unleashing the more upon each and every one of them. I thank you, thank Father, you, for Jesus. just causing that hunger to continue to stir deeper and deeper, that thirst to continue to stir deeper and deeper. And I thank you, Father, that these are days of greater. So, Lord, we thank you for an impartation tonight, right here, right now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, listen, share this broadcast. Let others know what we're doing here. I'm sure there's many people that would like to hear what God is saying about this coming year, this season we're entering into. So you can be a blessing by passing this around and sharing it with those that want to hear. You know your prophetic friends and family members that want to jump in on this. So share with them by text, over email, Facebook, however you can. Um, but we're going to get into this prophetic word because there's several things that we want to share. Amen. And, um, Jen, I know you had an encounter last weekend as Rosh Hashanah was beginning on Friday night. And maybe you'll have, um, some opportunity to share about I'm that. Sure. Um, the first thing I want to say about 5784 is that, um, you know, in speaking about the door, the whole reason why, so many prophets are speaking about it being the year of the door is because that four number on the end is um, Dalit, which is a pictograph, a Hebrew Jewish pictograph of the door. Mm -hmm. And so the number four, the picture of it is a door and it's an open door. And so that's why people are sharing that. And what I want you to remember is that Jesus is your Open door. Amen. According to John chapter 10, verse 7, he says, I am the gate. Jesus proclaimed that he was the door. And yes. so when we speak about the door, we have to remember that Christ is our door into heavenly, heavenly glory. We're reminded Amen. again this year that all we need can be found in Christ. He's the open door to all that you need. And he's inviting us to come closer into his heart to know him and to rest in him and I really felt a strong uh, sense of God's presence on that word rest. This is the year to rest in Him. Uh, sometimes the greatest you, spiritual warfare, when there's a battle going on, sometimes the greatest spiritual warfare that annoys the enemy so much because <laughs> he can't understand it yes. is when we enter into the rest. You remember when the sea uh, and the storm. Um, in the boat, they were all in the boat and the disciples were all kind of in a tizzy a bit about it because it was so bad. But Jesus was found in the boat resting. resting. He was our example of having peace in the middle of chaos. So when I say that word rest, I don't mean that it's going to be a peaceful season in the earth. What I'm saying is it can be a peaceful season for you it is possible. and it can be a peaceful season for your household and it can be a peaceful Amen. season for your family. And it should be because our victory is found in Christ, the open door. And if he really is the open door, then that means this year he is the way of divine appointment Amen. for you into the blessings, into Everything that you need. And so there's no need to fret. There's no need to worry. Actually, worry's not going to do anything other than make you feel sick Amen. or uh, stress you out 
or, you know, worry does all these terrible things. And that's why God's calling you into the rest to rest in him. There are many prophetic messages that are coming from God to help direct us in this next season. Uh, Revelation chapter four uh, was one of the the scriptures I was reminded of concerning the open door. Janet, Mm -hmm. do you want to read that? Are you able to? I'm totally able to. Your Bible has been so well loved and so well used. Show everybody your Bible here. It is all pieced together now. It has been so well loved. It is. And so well read. It is. I love this Bible. I love him. After this, I looked and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. Okay, there it is right there. A door that's standing open in heaven. That is the picture that God is giving us for this year. Do you want me to continue? Yes. Sorry. Yes. And the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, come up here. So there's an invitation. Mm -hmm. Come up here. So there's the participation, right? Come up here and I will show you what must take, take place after this. Verse two, at once I was in the spirit and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Carnelian, a rainbow resembling an emerald encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder. Before the throne, seven lamps were blazing These are the seven spirits of God. Also before the throne, there was what looked like a sea of glass, clear as crystal. In the center around the throne were four living creatures, and they were covered with eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like Mm. a lion. The second was like an ox. The third had a face like a man. The fourth was like a flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around even under his under his wings, day and night, they never stop saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. What an amazing prophetic vision Hallelujah. that John holy, was given holy, holy. of the heavenly realm. The glory yes. dimensions yes. of God is so beautiful. But there's a message in there for us. Um, Revelation chapter four, he sees a door and then uh, he's called up into it. Yes. He responds to the invitation. He goes up in and then he sees Jesus. He sees the one who's seated upon the throne. And my notes here are in all that you do. And this is speaking about direction for this year, very specifically Jesus. in all that you do and all that you pursue See Jesus. See Jesus. Look for him in it all. Stop looking for the enemy or expecting the worst to happen. We break off all negative expectation right now in Jesus' name. Do not allow your vision to be distracted by strangers, demonic forces. You are his sheep and his sheep know his voice. We also know his appearance. We know what he looks like. So look for him. He is the door. He is the door. He is the door. And it's so, it, this is going to be very important this year as we go into this year, because there's going to be many things that try to distract, try to sway, try to move believers off track. We've got to stay focused on Jesus. He is the open door. If we stay focused on Jesus, we will continue to have the door open before us with divine favor and opportunity. I'm prophesying over you now. Divine provision, health, healing. It's all yours this year as you continue to focus on Jesus Christ, the open door. Do not allow the enemy to sway your attention onto anything else or distract your focus because the only way we're going to be able to survive and thrive in these days is by staying fixed on Jesus yes. and following in his ways. And this correlates so much, much with what I was sharing this afternoon at the Glory Breakthrough webinar. If you did not have a chance to be a part of that Glory Breakthrough webinar, you can actually still go on, click the link. We're going to put it below this video here. Um, after we get done the live, we'll put the link down below 
and you want to click that because um, you can get access to the replay. Okay. It's yes. already happened. We did it this afternoon, but you can get access to the replay. And I think if you complete the survey at the end, if you watch it all the way through and complete the survey, then they'll also still send you the PDF notes and even possibly the transcript for what was spoken about today. And I think that will be really beneficial to you. Um, several years ago, I think back in 2020, I released this book, Power Portals. And I just want to mention something out of it because we're talking about Jesus being the door. He is the door. Yes. And if he is the door, then you always have a way of escape. And I was thinking about this section here, it's page 50 of Power Portals. If you have a copy of the book, it talks about Jesus being the sevenfold portal. And um, these are the seven things, and I'm going to give them to you right now. Number one, he is the only portal to the life of God. Okay. And that's Matthew 7, verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads to life, and few there be that Amen. find it. He is the portal to the life of God. Uh, number two, he is the portal of escape. And that's 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. He is, Jesus is our way of escape. Number three, yes. he is the portal into the holy, the holiest. And some of you may want to take notes even in the comments here and be leaving those for others that are watching. Um, and I just, when I said comments, I just noticed over in the comments right now, so many wonderful comments coming in. Uh, people enjoying that webinar. They say webinar was transform detailing. One of our miracle worker partners said webinar was fire. Yeah, there it is. Wow. That's so wonderful. Uh, Patricia Wilkes right there said it was amazing. Thank you for teaching us how to access the glory realms. It's our honor. It's our honor to do that. It Amen. really is. Um, so number three, Jesus, he is the portal into the holiest. And that is Hebrews chapter nine, verses 11 and 12. I'll let you read these scriptures after. Um, number four, he is the portal into a new and living way. That's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20. Number five, he's the portal of truth. That's second Peter two, verse two. And number six, he is the portal into the right way. Yes. That's second Peter two. Verse 15. And then number seven, he is the portal of righteousness, which is 2 Peter 2, verse 21. Wow, there's a lot of Second Peters here, but mm -hmm. um, that one says, For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. Mm -hmm. He is the portal of righteousness, and we need to stay on that path of righteousness and follow in the way of Christ. Um, when we follow him, we will find ourselves following him into the blessing. Now, Janet, you had a prophetic encounter. Do you feel free to share that? I do. I do because I mean, we were reading revelation four and I was at a mm -hmm. women's conference and it was on, um, the entrance into the new year, yeah. Shana Toba. And there was an invitation to, to go up higher. There was an invitation to go through the open door and they had the most beautiful praise and worship. They had the most beautiful, um, creative glory all on the platform with artistry, with dancers. Um, this is up in Chattanooga. This was in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And there was so much happening. And I just decided to close my eyes in the midst of everything that was happening. It was so beautiful. I just purposed to step into the invitation that presented itself and knowing what a significant moment it was entering into this new year, a year of the open door. I, position myself to go through that open door. And I did. And I saw yeah. Jesus. It was almost instantly that as I wow. put my attention on the door and I put my attention into his glory, I could see Jesus. And all of a sudden it was like, he surrounded me and it was like a whirlwind and it was a whirlwind coming from my feet all the way up, all the way around me. And then I began to see this whirlwind lift up a little bit so I could visibly see wow. new shoes being put on me. It was like a new armor that was being put on me, new shoes, new, new realms of authority, 
uh, new realms of possession. And then I could see this whirlwind around my knees and I really sense that my knees were being strengthened, strengthened to stand, but also strengthened to be able to move as the spirit leads me. And this whirlwind continued to go up and I felt like it was like a refreshment and an impartation of new armor that was being mantled. If if that makes sense. Yes. That I was being mantled with a new garment was being placed on me. And then I started to sing new songs because I, I received a new garment, which a new garment of praise and the beauty of his presence was so overwhelming. And I could just sense all this newness of the, of, of the new garments. And so I was just, absolutely astounded how quickly when I positioned myself to receive how quickly I received Mm. and there's an acceleration in this season and there's so much emphasis on what you said what you just said about we need to see Jesus in it all because it's all about him he is the door and when your focus is on Jesus you will see Jesus and you will begin to see the fullness of who he is and so there's new garments we're being mantled with new fresh armor to run the race set before us. And we are capable, anointed. We have been given the authority um, by Christ himself to step into this hour and to see the victory continue to be released in our lives, in our family lives, and in those that God places in our path. Yeah. It's so good, Janet. Yeah. It's amazing. That encounter that you had. I love that you were caught it's up the into that money. door and then you began to see him and then you saw what he was doing for you. I love that. Um, John the Revelator, when he was caught up in that encounter, he saw the Lord, he saw uh, the workings of the heavenlies, but then it all, it all culminates in holy, holy, holy is the Lord God almighty. And Janet, even when you share your testimony about what you saw in the spirit, it's like, I can just sense just worship rising from you. Even the very first time you shared that with me, it's like, It was just like a new awe, a new wonder of who he is, what he's doing, his majesty, his glory. So all together on this glory Bible say, let's just say, holy, holy, holy Holy is the Lord God almighty. Holy are you, Lord. Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Just begin to give him your worship right now. All over this place. Holy, 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 holy holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God. We we give you our lives. We surrender to you. You are majestic. You are king of kings. You are are Lord of lords. You are everything. You are all that we need in God. We choose to follow you. We choose to surrender to you. We choose to give our lives fully to you. For you alone are worthy. You are holy, 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 holy. Thank Holy you, hallelujah. Wow. And we are surrounded. Mm. We are surrounded by heaven itself. Yes. We are. The reality of Thank the glory you, Jesus. is surrounding our lives yes. right now. Um, heaven is so near, so close. Mm-hmm. We always, um, not maybe us personally, but you know, in general, people always talk about heaven being this distant place. But I think as glory realm believers, we are all learning together how close heaven really is. Amen. How near heaven, heaven is in our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, it's amazing. Now, Janet, you were sharing about this encounter where you were caught up. Mm -hmm. And John the Revelator was talking about being caught up into that door, right? Yes. And I thought it's interesting because Over this past year, you know this already. We've talked about it on several Glory Bible studies. But since January, I received personally five prophetic words corporately in regards to being caught up and lifted in the spirit. Spirit travel, supernatural transport in the spirit. Five prophetic words, um, different places. Tomball, Texas was the first one. Then Birmingham, Alabama. And then it was uh, Chandler, Arizona, and then it was uh, Kingston, New Hampshire, and then it was Los Angeles, California. And that, that last one was the end of June, June 21st, I believe, this year. <clears throat> Five very specific prophetic words. And then, you know, we shared a few weeks ago about how some of those words are already being activated and things happening. And we are, even this week, you received emails from people saying, 
you were in my dreams. Well, actually, that Friday up. night. So mm -hmm. new when we stepped into it, Rosh Hashanah, I received. Yeah. When we stepped into Rosh Hashanah, I received a report the next morning yeah. from someone saying you were in my dream. Yes, it was so powerful. You were laying hands on me, and I could yes. feel the power and the authority of Christ coming out of you as you laid your hands. And, yeah. and I was laying hands on several people. She she testified. Yeah, and that was the very next morning I received yeah. that report. And so it's all been intensifying. Mm -hmm. There's it been is. a lot of it's activity. Accelerating. It's picking up in this regard. Um, I wrote here that get ready to move with the spirit <laughs> because those five words, that's grace. Yes. And they've brought us to this place. Where have they brought those words have brought us to the open door. So I think I felt like I didn't see it in advance, but once we were praying into Rosh Hashanah, I was like, wow, it's amazing that God's brought us to this door with these words that are all about coming up and being lifted in the spirit. Amen. And, um, and then I came back to, we need to learn how to rest in all of this, mm -hmm. um, getting out of striving, getting out of works, performance, struggle, get out of it, let go of it, shake all that stuff off. We need to come into the rest. And I think God gave you something about resting, didn't he? Um, I, not specifically, okay. but I know that, I know that there are, well, let me read. Sorry. Something. I just I saw did, something. I did. I did over open here. something okay. up here. Um, I thought you were asking if he'd given me something specifically in that encounter for rest, oh. but here in um, childbirth and the glory, I did open up to a portion um, where it says the world is so desperately seeking peace. There are many disruptors that try to consume our thoughts, our bodies and our spirits. Yeah. You must actively learn how to guard yourself against these things. You might be dealing with marital or relationship issues Know that God is able to heal and restore. You might be under a lot of stress due to financial hardships. Know that God is able to meet every need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. You might be listening to or watching a lot of negative news, but it's time to turn the channel and tune into God's yes. word, which is the good news. You might have some health issues and concerns. Know that God is more than able to heal you because it's already been provided through his redemptive work. In life, there is always a battle going on, but we must remember that the battle belongs to the Lord. We must capture the revelation that we are seated above the battle in heavenly places. That is our position. Yes. As a believer, you have the answer and the solution. It's a beautiful gift of victory, and his name is Jesus. He is your gift of victory. The he door. is your door. He is your prince of peace. You have permission to relax restore and rest in God's glory realm of peace. Wow. That's so good. And that comes from here. Let me show everybody that comes from childbirth and the glory. And if you don't have this book, this is a, an amazing gift to give to any couple who's belie either believing for a baby or you know that they recently Amen. got pregnant. This is, listen, you want to put this book in the hands of a pregnant woman as quick as you can, because it will change the way she goes through pregnancy and bring in the presence of God. It's such a beautiful book that you've written, Janet, and Thank I love you. it. And I think all of us have been blessed even just by reading that Amen. little part right there. That's for all of us. Um, the reason why I brought up the rest factor is because, well, number one, it's going to be essential as we go into this new year. But one of our mentors, Mama Billy Deck, and I'm not sure whether Mama Billy's on here tonight. She's she generally joins us on Tuesday. Um, but Mama Billy has talked to us for years about her glory naps. Mama will take these yes. glory naps and she'll get caught up in the spirit as she does. It's resting. It's putting your body in that rested position that allows you to connect with what God is doing in the spiritual Amen. realm. And um, Mama Billy says it's the key to enter into deeper visions, glory encounters, when we rest, we not only receive physical rejuvenation, we allow our spirits and souls to be healed. It starts with Sabbath rest, that's once a week, vacation rest, once or twice a year, sabbatical rest, an extended time for rejuvenation. The question is, are you making time for the rest? Some people work, 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 and they think that they're doing the Lord's business by just staying busy and working, not realizing, listen, 
God's the one who gave us a Sabbath and didn't just give it. He commanded it. He commanded that on the seventh day we would rest. Why? He knows that he created us in a way that needs to be rejuvenated. You need to be recharged. You need to be re-energized. And unless you're making time for that rest, how can you be re-energized? And yeah. so I know sometimes people make excuses for, well, I can't take vacation. I've got this, I got that. It doesn't mean you have to go away to a tropical destination. You can take vacation at home and just rest at home and just spend time in the word and spend time soaking. Listen, we've got so many soaking albums you can enjoy. Amen. One of my favorite ones is the opening the portals, which we've got the link down below here. Um, but opening the portals is like a spiritual detox. It's a refresher and you can be rejuvenated while you're Amen. listening to that. It's the only way that we'll survive in the days ahead is by entering into the rest of God. Don't stress, just rest, work hard and rest hard. I'm not talking about being lazy. No, we, we're not going to be lazy, but we're going to work hard and then we're going to know how to rest hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we're, it's, uh, it's balanced out. John said the spirit called him to come up here. This is where we are right now, spiritually speaking. We're standing at the door, the head of the year, the beginning. We're in the 10 days of awe right now, uh, facing <laughs> prophetic possibilities and promises. How will we respond to what God is speaking? We're being called up higher. The spirit is calling what will we do? We say, yes, Lord, I'll come. We're yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm coming up higher. We're coming up. Uh, decree, Lord, here I am. I'm coming up. Lord, here I am. I'm coming I'm up. I'm coming up. Lord, yes. here I am. I'm coming up. Yes. I'm coming up. I'm coming, I'm coming up. up. Right. Alan, this is where we are right now, okay? When the Spirit calls us up, he calls us into divine alignment with his purpose as he leads us. Yes. The Bible says the Holy Spirit leads us into where? All Truth. And I saw truth, capital T-R-U-T-H, real big truth. This is a big word for this next year that we're entering into. It's going to be a revealer of truth this next year, this next season. There's going to be a lot of truth revelation that's unfolded. Why? Because we've given permission for the yes. Holy Spirit through the open door to lead us into all truth. When you ask the Holy Spirit to lead you into truth, he will. And when he does, don't be surprised by what you see, Amen. but instead begin to respond with a prophetic intercessor's heart, Amen. understanding that God is letting you see things so that you can take it to him, so that you can deal with it in prayer, yes. so that you can battle in the spiritual realm from a place of ease and rest and get victory in it. Okay. And thank the Lord for the preparation that you can be prepared for when yes. truth comes to the scene. Cause sometimes when yes. truth comes to the scene, it can get messy. It can. Oh yeah. Well, you know, it, it's, it, it can try to, uh, the enemy will try to use it to disrupt you. Right. God gives it to you to uh, align you. Yes. Right. And so we have to stay on God's path and we have to stay in what God's doing. And thank you, Lord, for preparing us Yes, to receive the truth and walk in it. And this is John 16, chapter 16, verse 13. But when he, the spirit of truth, the truth giving spirit comes, he will guide you into all the truth, the whole full yeah. truth. For he will not speak his own message on his own authority, but he will tell whatever he hears from the father. He will give the message that has been given to him and he will announce and declare it to you the things that are to come that will happen in the future. So yes. there it is. Again, remember, John went up. I will show you things to come. Here it is. The Holy Spirit leads us in to show us things to come. Okay. To being a revealer of truth. And I saw it again, real big T-R-U-T-H. I saw it really, really big. There's a war for your mind and for your attention. Jesus. Do not allow yourself to become distracted. This year you must be focused on the truth. Again, what is truth? Jesus. Who is truth? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is the truth. God is dealing with our fleshly carnal natures. Even in believers, there's a lot of alignment that God's wanting to make. There's Amen. some things that have been happening that has really been the Lord testing hearts, testing motives, testing attitudes. And if we're willing to be pliable, teachable, being workable for the Holy Spirit to work with us, then we'll begin to change and transform and as we do, it's for his glory. Amen. 
if we're not willing, if we're prideful, if we're caught up in our own desires, our will, what we want, oh, that's a dangerous place to be. And I think a lot of that's being revealed even in the church right now, the fleshly carnal side of Christianity is being exposed and you can get ready for more exposure to happen yeah. in this next season. In order to receive truth, we must be willing to mature. Mm -hmm. Our emotions must be brought in line with truth. Our mind must be brought in line with truth. Our will and desires must be brought in line with truth. The Bible yes. speaks about these last days and it speaks about the war over truth. And this is not a scripture that we read a lot, but it's second Timothy Chapter four, verses three and four, Timothy speaking, he says, for the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth, mm. but wanting to have their ears tickled with something pleasing that's of their own desire, their human self-will, carnal nature, they will accumulate for themselves many teachers, one after another chosen to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold and will turn their ears away from the truth and will wander off into myths and man-made fictions and will accept the unacceptable. This is like a very serious warning that Timothy is giving to the church. And I believe it is extremely applicable to the church today where we're at. There are some believers that want things their way so much that they will listen to unsound doctrine. They will believe myths and man-made fables that are not based in any sort of truth, but because it's what they want and because of their prideful nature, and it makes them feel good. They will sit there and they will, they will listen to it and they'll have their ears tickled. But the problem is they're being given over to the enemy in doing so. And they think that they are standing for righteousness. And yet, if it's not truth, then it's not God. Right. If it's not God, we shouldn't want it. We shouldn't desire. It. We've got to say, God, I want truth in my inner man. Yes. God, I desire truth in who I am. God, reveal your truth in and through my life, I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the yes, truth, Jesus. so help me God. Thank you, Lord. It's been said that the truth hurts. The truth hurts your pride. It does. But it sets you free from the chains of deceit. Come on. Thank you, Lord. The truth may hurt your feelings, but it's better than pretending and living a false reality. So good. We don't live by feelings anyway. They need to be brought into correction. Hearing the truth hurts your ego, but lying to yourself hurts even more. The truth may be bitter, but it's always better than living in ignorance. Come on. Someone once the said, truth. sometimes the truth hurts, but sometimes it feels really good. <laughs> and I think if, if in our innermost being, we desire for the truth, when the truth comes, it feels really good. Yeah. It feels it, there's Lord. freedom and liberty in the truth. There's healing in the truth. There's blessing in the truth. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's abundance, fruitfulness that happens in the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so the question truth. is, do you want the truth? Capital T-R-U-T-H. Do you want the truth? Yes. Do we really want, are, are we truth seekers? Are we truth tellers? Are we truth sharers? Yes. Are we truth givers? Are we truth bearers? Yes. We want to be those. So T-R-U-T-H, I've got an acronym. You knew that I would. I, I was waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> Capital T. This is the, oftentimes around Rosh Hashanah, God gives me acronyms and it, they just come. So truth, T-R-U-T-H. Uh, the T is transcendent. Write that down, transcendent. Jesus is transcendent, meaning that he surpasses all human understanding and limitations. There's right. no limitations in the glory. No limitations in the spirit realm. No limitations in Jesus. Yes. He offers a divine perspective and illuminates our lives with his light. With his light. Jesus. His words are light. His words are life. His teachings are light. His teachings bring life. Yes. Okay. The R is Redeemer. 
Jesus is our Redeemer, offering us a way to find forgiveness for our sins and be reconciled with God. Through him, we can experience the true light of salvation. Amen. He's our Redeemer. The you is unconditional love. Jesus embodies unconditional love, showing yes. us the way to love others selflessly and without judgment. His love shines brightly, guiding us towards compassion, kindness, and understanding. Thank you, Jesus. T, he's our teacher. Jesus is a profound teacher, sharing wisdom and truths that lead to a life of purpose and fulfillment. His teaching shed light on the path we should follow, guiding us towards a life filled with love, peace, and joy. Yes, we receive that. And then finally, we land on the H, which is hope. Jesus brings hope to our lives, offering us a way out of darkness and into the light. Come on. His presence gives us the assurance that no matter how challenging life may be, there is always hope for a brighter future. So good. I love that his truth brings us into his hope. Amen. His truth shines light. We end up in hope. As long as we have him, we always have hope. As long as we're with Jesus, we always have hope. There's always a way. He is the open door. He's your open door this year. Amen. Yeah. I want you to stretch your hands out right now. Just receive an impartation. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I thank you for your glory that's in this place. Lord, I thank you that you're ministering to your people. God, I thank you that you're giving us a vision for this year, a year of coming up, yes. coming in, a year of seeing you above all else, staying yes. fixed on you, yes, embracing your truth, allowing your truth to work in us from our innermost being in every area of our life, spirit, soul, and body, your truth actively at work, yes, Lord. bringing us into your hope. Lord, I thank you that you have not left us without hope, but we are filled with hope. Yes, a glorious For the glory that shines in and through the lives yes, Jesus. of your children, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love that Su <clears throat> Sumar, I think that's how I say it, Sumar from Tokyo, wrote, Jesus is... And they've got it right here. Transcendent, Redeemer, Unconditional Love, Teacher, Hope, Truth. He is truth. Yes. Jesus is truth. There it is. All of them right there. Leave that up there so that everybody can. If In case you didn't get that, now you've got them. Transcendent, Redeemer, Unconditional Love, yes. Teacher, and Hope. There it is. Wow. And please make sure that you are on our email list to be able to receive the glory Bible study notes each week. We will be oh, yeah. sending these notes out tomorrow. And so please be sure to go to joshuamills.com and you'll see a pop-up on the website and you'll be able to enter in your email address to be able to receive these study notes every week. Yeah. Every week we're sending out these notes and we just do it to be a blessing for you so that you can further study out what we've been talking about and sharing. And I know oftentimes when people take these notes, God gives you so much more than what we've shared oh, here on yes. the broadcast. I mean, the, the heavens are just open. The glory is open and streams of revelation just begin well, flowing. In for that you. open door. I mean, there mm -hmm. is open revelation for you to step in and there's an acceleration in, in receiving revelation yes. from him. And so as you look upon Jesus, I would advise carrying a notebook and pen almost everywhere <laughs> yes. you go, because the revelation is going to flow like a river. Yes, absolutely. In the name of Jesus. So wonderful. So wonderful. Jesus, you are so wonderful. Yes, you are, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Um, I want to do a giveaway here. Wonderful. I want to give away a copy of Childbirth in the Glory. Janet, your brand new book. And uh, I'm going to, if you if you've done the giveaways with us before, you know how we do this. Uh, we'll ask you to comment in the comment section here. And then it's by random selection. Those that get the correct answer, it's just by random. It's not necessarily the first to respond. It's just random selection um, as it comes up. But um, we're going to give away a copy of Childbirth and the Glory. 
And what I want you to write in the comments to potentially be a winner, I want you to write down one of the things that we spoke about that we can anticipate entering into this new year of 5784. What is it? Okay, write it down. And then by random selection, we will. Mm -hmm. Let it come in. Shirley Hill said the need to carry a notebook is the standout for me from the webinar. Wow, oh, wow. that's so cool. You know, everybody gets different kinds of things for. Do you want to pick? Do you want to? Um, uh, you can do the random selection, Janet. Yeah. Just, we just kind of slide it up and down, up and down, up and down, and then pop. And there it is. Okay. Who is this? Emily Walker. Congratulations. <laughs> We're going to send you a copy Emily. of Janet's book, Childbirth and the Glory. We need you to send an email to us with your best mailing address where we can send you a copy of that book. If you're overseas, then we send you the PDF copy through email. But if you're within North America, then we'll actually put that book in the mail and ship it to you. So um, send us an email at office at internationalglory.org. That's where you can reach us right there. Office at International Glory. Congratulations, Emily. Congratulations, Emily. That's great. That's so fun. Okay, let's do one more, Janet. Yes. And this one will be for Power Portal's book. <laughs> I think this book is actually one that even if you've read it in the past, you need to reread it again, especially going into this year, because this is this year is all about the door. And we didn't get into it tonight, but part of the revelation that's coming for this this year of the open door so many people are talking about the believers being the door so jesus is our door into heavenly glory but then we are his door for heavenly glory to come into the earth yes and that's the revelation of this book and so this ties in i mean so beautifully with the prophetic word for this year those of you that already have a copy of this book you need to pick it up and reread it as you go into this year. And then for those of you that don't have it, I encourage you to get a copy. It's a great book. Power portals will really bless your life. The subtitles awaken your connection to the spirit realm. Um, okay. So we're going to do this again. And once again, we're going to ask the same question. What is the Lord speaking to us about going into this new year? And you know what, just for fun, I'm going to let you even put in what God's speaking to you for this new year what God's sharing with you about this new year. And there can be a lot of things that the yes. Lord is speaking to you about that are, that are different than what we've shared. And yet they tie in. Mm -hmm. We find that when we listen to the corporate word of the Lord through the body of Christ, there's so many different facets of the same message, different parts of it. Gabriel Chua, the year of the open door to new portals and opportunities and changes. Yes, there it is. Okay. So congratulations, congratulations. Gabriel. We're going to send this to you. You need to send us your best mailing address to office at internationalglory.org. There it is, the email right there. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Wonderful. Well, listen, we want to give you an opportunity to sow into this realm, into this new year. We've discovered that during the Jewish feast, during the Jewish celebrations, now the Feast of Tabernacles is coming up, but right now we're in the, the Feast of Trumpets. We're yes. in the, the 10 days of awe. In this moment right now, this is a great time to sow a first fruit seed into the new year that you're entering into, 5784. And so I, I encourage you, to avail yourself of the opportunity to sow into the glory in this moment. And if you'd like to give through PayPal, you can go to paypal.me slash glory realm. Our Canadian friends can go to paypal.me slash glory realms with an S on the end. And if you would like to become a miracle worker partner or give in another way, you can certainly visit our website, which is listed right here on the bottom of the screen, internationalglory.org. Just go there, internationalglory.org. And, uh, you can see that internationalglory.org right there. And you just click on the giving tab 
And there's a way you can even become a monthly Miracle Worker partner with us. We always have a great time. Last night, we spoke with our Miracle Worker partners over Zoom. We had a great time, didn't we? we? Did. Speaking we did. into the month that we're coming into. This next month is a month of harvest. October is a month of harvest. And so we were speaking into that prophetically mm -hmm. and shared just a beautiful time of sweet fellowship together last night. It's always wonderful. It is. I love when we get to connect with different ones and we all get to join together and pray in agreement for those things that they're yeah. believing for. As a miracle worker partner, you have access to those zoom meetings that we do once a month. And so um, we don't want you to sign up just to be able to do the zoom meetings, but if your heart is in partnering with the glory of God and with what God is doing in and through this ministry, we encourage Amen. you to become a miracle worker partner and we would take delight in that. We'd be honored for you to do that. Amen. Um, Listen, it has been a wonderful night. Wow. We're heading to Hawaii this week. We are. We're going to be with the Woman of Destiny at the Waikoloa Beach Marriott Resort. Doesn't that sound nice? Uh, there's going to be a conference there Friday afternoon, Friday night this week, as well as Saturday morning, noon. There's going to be a special ladies lunch, mm -hmm. and then there's going to be an afternoon uh, service as well. And then on Sunday morning, we'll be at Kona Christian Fellowship. That's right. Uh, with Pastor Marsha Gomes and her family. And they are, they're real anointed, wonderful people. So if you're anywhere in the islands or on the big island, Kona, Hilo, any of those places, come and see us, Kona Christian Fellowship, this Sunday and at the Woman of Destiny Conference, Friday and Saturday. And then the following weekend, Sunday, October 1st, we will be back in Canada. We will. Ministering at the River International One Church. service only in Hamilton, Ontario, October 1st, with our dear friends, Pastor Joe and Bella Garcia at the River International. It's going to be really, really wonderful. Um, we were just there in, was it July or August? And I think August. It was a beautiful meeting. Actually, it was so amazing. There was a woman drove all the way from Ottawa, Canada, about six hour drive. And she was, um, I don't, I don't even know what the illness would she be had that she had, she had a lot of stuff, but she was she on a walker. A lot of need. She was on a walker and she could not walk on her own. She had, smoking but she addictions. left the glory meeting doing cartwheels down the center aisle, all the way out of the church. I am telling you the truth. It was the most spectacular thing to see God did a miracle for yes. her. And so she did cartwheels all the way out of the church. That Amen. was amazing. Amen. That was the last time we we're there. So I'm expecting even greater miracles on October 1st. <laughs> we're going to see yes. some wonderful miracles. I'm prophesying we over are, it right now. We yeah. are decreeing a thing and it absolutely. shall be established. Wow, absolutely. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. You, Jesus. Well, we'll see you next Tuesday, right here, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the glory for Glory Bible Study. Remember, the glory loves you, and so do we. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary and bore every sickness, every pain, every infirmity. He took away the curse, even over childbearing. Jesus has designed for you to live an abundant life with supernatural blessings invading every area of your pregnancy, every part of the delivery, and parenting the next generation. There's an impartation of faith for you to step in to God's way for childbirth and the glory and to also create atmospheres for success in your pregnancy and delivery. Through this journey of you praying, meditating upon the scriptures, speaking these decrees, you are going to see God move mightily. You can do this. Step into the new experience, an amazing move of God in this area of your life. Childbirth and the Glory is a divine setup for you to experience His possibilities. Childbirth and the Glory is a catalyst setting you up for divine success in your baby, in your pregnancy, in your delivery, and in parenting.